course, in our case, the reason why we want to track habits is because we want to get better at whatever it is we want to achieve. And so it's really important to start to understand what is it that I need to learn in order to be able to achieve and accomplish my goals. Because when we first start out, you know, we're basically, we got everything in the world we need to learn in order to get to where we want to go. What are those things that we need to learn? And some people think that they just don't have the talent. And uh, I really have trouble with this one. Um, I know there are people that are faster or can do things quicker or, or things like that uh, so that it's something that they have that other people don't. But I really believe more than anything else, hard work and uh, understanding which skills you need to learn are more important. Some people I think just have certain skills that come naturally to them, but they're still skills. They can still be learned. And so it's really more important to understand what are those skills that are necessary to learn. One of my favorite examples of a skill that people can learn, but seems like a natural talent, is drawing. We've, I gave you a few exercises where you could actually do some of those things that could build some of those skills. Because it's not just moving your hand, but it's also learning how to see. It's learning how to see light and shadow. It's learning how to see uh, form. It's learning how to see edges and contours and all the detail that's actually there and being able to be bypass our left brain's symbology that we've kind of created and constructed when we were younger, it's, it's getting learning how to look past those things instead of seeing what we think we see, but actually seeing what we see. And that's a skill that can be learned. It's not a talent. Hopefully that gave you an example of, of how, if you weren't aware of, of those skills, you might just assume you don't have the ability to learn because they don't seem like learnable things, but they are. And I think that that occurs in every endeavor that we want to try to achieve. And, but it's really more a matter of understanding what those skills really are. So, and I think today's you know, world with the internet and with books, you can uh, start to learn that, or you can find a teacher that can help you understand what are the things that really help you. And they're more nuanced than just necessarily technique. They can be ways to think, they can be ways to listen, they can be ways to feel. And those are all things that can be natural, but they can also be learned. Because a lot of times it's more about getting out of our own way to be able to have access to these skills. This idea of getting out of our own way is uh, really important, I think, because you know, it's like they say in uh, you know, Eastern um, philosophy, you know, the greatest enemy is within. And I think it's that whole idea of, of trying to wrestle with the tool of our brain and how capable it is, but how also the way it works isn't always the most freeing. And uh, one of my favorite quotes I ever heard was, talent is the absence of resistance. And it just really speaks to me because I think that idea of resistance is really what we're, what we're trying to learn how to be able to overcome. And that in and of itself is a skill. But I think once you're able to allow that with, what that with this, that which is within you to come out without resistance, it will flow, it will be graceful, it will have impact, emotion, meaning, etc. All because you're not resisting. I'm going to go more into detail around, uh, you know, setting up a, a way of learning. Um, you know, and once you find the skills you have and what, what you need to be able to achieve and the path to be able to do that. But before that, I want to kind of continue with the idea of, of, you know, you have your habits, you want to be able to do them on a regular basis. You also want to be able to have the right mindset uh, while you're achieving these um, goals, uh, you know, basically the practice or creating habits. Uh, and so I want to talk a little bit about intention. 